Today I want to talk about games that I'm never going to play ever again on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, now these are games that I I never knew even existed for the most part as kids. They weren't until I got older as an adult, started collecting. I was like, wow, they actually made a game on that franchise? That's surprising, I want to check it out. And then I checked it out and it was bad. It was just horrible. Uh, so I want to talk about those games right now. And it's safe to say, that I'm never going to play these games ever again. Uh, well, except to record the footage to make this video. But after that, I'm never playing them again. I can assure you of that. Especially number one. That game can burn in hell. But first... This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community of millions for curious and creative people like you and me. You can learn from a vast range of subjects, from music to graphic arts to filmmaking. Be inspired to learn new skills with a like-minded community of millions that are there to support you. Now, I may be the greatest editor on the face of YouTube, but even I need to hone my own skills, so I do use this service. In fact, I just took a class from Joe Van Aken on lighting for film professionals, where I learned how to better blend the lights that you put in the scene with the natural lighting that is already there to make it look a lot more natural. If you're a creative or curious person, there is truly something for you on this site that you can learn and grow from. And for a special offer for all you beautiful people who are subscribed to this channel, all you have to do is click the link in the description below and you will receive two whole free months of Skillshare Premium absolutely free. So sign up below and let's get creative! It's Friday night, I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight I could sit here and pick my nose while I watch a brand new video oh, oh. Time by Friday, time by Friday tonight Number 5 on the list, I used to watch this show growing up a ton it was one of the cheesiest, dumbest sitcoms of all time, but for whatever reason, I would watch it before school, and that's that's Gilligan's Island. I had no idea that they made an NES game based off of Gilligan's Island as a kid. And then I found it as an adult, and I kind of wish I didn't. Yeah, this game is... It's not good. First of all, like, I don't even understand why they would make a game based off of a sitcom at that time. It was like 20 years old. I mean, I guess there's potential there, right? But it just didn't work out. It's just plain bad and I will never play this game ever again. You play as the skipper and what really just infuriates you about this game is that Gilligan follows you around the entire time and he really doesn't come in handy for anything. He'll fall in holes, he'll get stuck in places and sure you need him to do certain things but like 99% of the time he's completely useless and does nothing but get in the way. Kind of like the show actually very much like the show, except it was he was 100% useless in the show. Uh, maybe that's what they were going for, I don't know. But the, the game is just outright horrible. It's just one big fetch quest. You, you have a time limit to get things, to do a thing, and then when that thing's over, you get another time limit to do more things. It's go get this, go talk to this person, go get that, go talk to this person. It's just boring, and it's it's repetitive, and it sucks, and you, you, you get a punch, but it doesn't really mean do anything? Like, it doesn't kill any of the monsters? It, it does, it's completely useless. And so, you're just basically wandering around, wasting time with this game. It's, it's really should be called The Adventures of Wasting Your Time. <laughs> now here's another one based on a show that I sometimes would watch before school. And that's Three Stooges. I, I, to the, hey, to this day, I love this show. This is one of the all-time classic shows that will just, it will always be funny, no matter what, okay? But the game on the NES is, it's not good. Uh, I, when I first tried it out, I was kind of excited, because, you know, what do you do with a Three Stooges game? It, it kind of, it doesn't really lend itself well to, you know, a fun game, so I guess what they, decided to end up doing was just making a bunch of mini games and that's all it is it's a bunch of mini games and that right there is always a red flag for me i'm not big on games that are just a bunch of mini games the mini games consist of pie throwing this this weird game where you're trying to get oysters in a bowl and you're you're i don't i still don't understand what you're supposed to do i don't understand how to do it 
and you just the curly makes this insanely annoying sound and then you have a boxing game where essentially you're not even doing the cool stuff like boxing you're trying to find a fiddle and you're racing to one end of the stage and you just keep falling down that's that's what the stage mini game should be called it's falling down because that's literally all you do how fun is that and then you got one where you're speed slapping i, I don't get it the only one that has a little bit of like okay i can kind of play this a little bit is this overhead you're in the hospital and you're on a you're pushing somebody on a gurney and it's you got it's at least it takes some kind of skills of you know, having quick reactions and stuff trying to dodge and collect stuff but it is absolutely just this is one of the worst games and i can never <laughs> i don't ever want to i don't ever want to touch it again and now we have another game based on another show that i would used to watch and uh, that's Rocky and Bullwinkle, uh, another game that I was surprised they even made a game on. Because that was an old show even when I was a kid. So whenever I first popped this in, I didn't know, really know what to expect. I mean, we have really cool cartoon-based games like DuckTales and, and Chippendale and, and, and stuff like that. But uh, no, this is... This is nothing like that. Let me be clear. And, and, and this is in, in no way hyperbole whatsoever, but this, these are some of the worst graphics I've ever seen in my entire life. It literally looks like somebody took Microsoft MS Paint and drew the stage out. That's literally what it looks like. And don't even get me started on the music. It's this god-awful loop that just, it's about two, three seconds long, and it just repeats over and over and over again. It just grinds you and drives you into this state of madness it, that you just, you have to turn it off. You cannot listen to it after about a minute. You just want to go with absolutely insane. I mean, the gameplay itself, you're, you're Bullwinkle and or you can switch to Rocky. It's, it's, you can switch players. Bullwinkle throws bombs and Rocky can fly a little bit. It's nothing special. It's, in fact, it's, it's not good at all in terms of like the controls. In terms of the gameplay, it's not fun. The hit detection on the characters just absolutely sucks. Uh, doing anything sucks. Jumping sucks. Control sucks. It doesn't make any sense. You have no really, you have no real attack. So, uh, who, uh, yeah. Who made this? THQ? Um, yeah, you dropped the ball in this one, man. Okay, so those are some of the worst games. I've ever played. Now, number two on the list, this has to be one of the most boring effing games I've ever played in my entire life. That's the <laughs> Jim Henson Muppet Adventures Chaos at the Carnival. Just, I, it's called, I call it Muppets. I call it Muppets. Yeah, I... It's another mini game. game. You got four mini games here. You got River Ride, Car Course, Space Ride, and An Amazing Maze. And uh, they all suck. In River, you're basically going down a river and, and really doing nothing. I, I, I've yet to find a point to it. Now the car course is basically, you're in a bumper car and it's some of the most god-awful controls you've, you can imagine. Space Ride is essentially asteroids, but somehow they made it even more boring. And as if none of these other mini games were boring enough, then you get to the maze one and you essentially just, I, I still don't even know what you do. You just run around in a maze. I have never in my life played a game mini or otherwise that when you're playing it, you, it's just so utter, utterly pointless. All right, yeah, so we got to number one and a lot of people may even already know what the number one for me is because I've said it before, this is, one of the worst games uh, I've ever played in my life. There's something about it that pisses me off. I don't know what. I don't know what pisses me off. It's Dash Galaxy and the Alien Asylum. I mean, it's just an unassuming game, but you, I guess you kind of look at that cover and you think, oh, this is gonna be awesome. But then you put it in and you're you're just left mouth gaping open, like, what the, what am I, what am I doing? You're, 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 you're there, there, first of all, there's these overhead places where you're just, you're moving crates to try to get into a tube 
And so I, I still don't understand why that's even necessary. Let's just go to the stage, but whatever. Yeah, and it's not like you're waiting for anything grand or whatever. In fact, I'd probably want to delay going to these stages. I still don't know what the hell you're supposed to do. But it's a side-scrolling. You're There's there's place, times where you can just jump high up in the air on a platform. There's the stars. There's all these different things you collect. And I still don't know what these things that you collect, what they do. I have no idea what they do. This game has literally no redeemable qualities. Uh, I got this complete at a mom and pop uh, store in Justin, Texas. They're they're like an old rental store, and they're going out of business. This is a few years before Game Chasers, and it's a dollar ninety nine for complete. And I still feel like I wasted my money. Uh, anyway, don't play any of those games, especially the last two. You might get a little bit of a kick out of the Three Stooges and Gilligan's Island just for the novelty to say, "Oh wow, they made games on those. That's pretty stupid." But trust me, don't play Dash Galaxy in the Alien Asylum. Take my word for it. I went through the pain for you, and and I just want you to learn from my mistakes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, the notifications, all that stuff. It does help. And see you on the next one.